In this video, I'll show you how to send crypto from practically anywhere to your ledger in three simple steps. Whether you have a Ledger Nano S+, Plus, Ledger Nano X, or even the brand new Ledger Stacks, I've got you covered. I will walk you through the whole process both on a computer and on a smartphone. So after watching this, you will never second guess whether you did something wrong when sending crypto. During this tutorial, I'll be using the Nano X because it's my main device at the moment. It's also the only Ledger device that supports iOS. So if you plan to use your crypto on the go, you will specifically need the Nano X. And if you still don't have a wallet, you can find the link to the official store to buy one in the description below. But no matter which device you have now, this tutorial will work for all Ledger devices and the steps for all of them will be pretty much the same. With that being said, let's get started. Basically, to send any crypto to a Ledger, you'll need to have two things. First, you'll need an account on any platform where you can buy crypto. Most likely, it will be an exchange like Coinbase, Binance, OKX, and so on. Obviously, I won't be able to show you how to send crypto from every platform, so I'll be sending Bitcoin from Coinbase as an example. But the overall process is similar on all platforms. And if you still don't have an account on an exchange, check the description below. There you can find links to reliable platforms and also get a small bonus for signing up. Second thing, you'll need a Ledger device that is set up and ready to use. If you need assistance with that, check out my video on how to set up the Nano X. It takes only 5 minutes to watch. You can find it here or in the description below. Alright, it's time to take action. You can currently see my laptop screen with the Ledger Live app open and the Ledger device connected via USB. The first quick step you need to do, especially if you have a brand new Ledger device, is to install the app of the crypto you want to send to the Ledger. This will create an address for receiving the cryptocurrency itself and allow you to manage it using Ledger later on. To do this, click on the My Ledger tab in the menu. After that, look at the device and confirm that you want to enter My Ledger menu. Now on your laptop screen you will see information about the device and a list of all the apps available to install. So check the app catalog list, pick the app for the crypto you want to receive and click the install button. In my case it will be Bitcoin and as you can see I already have this app. So let's move on to the next step, creating an account. Once the app is installed on your wallet, we can go back to the accounts tab. Here click on add account, select the asset you need, in my case, as I said, it's Bitcoin. Click next and confirm on the device to open the app. Ledger Live will start searching for a new account. There it is. If you're doing this for the first time, by default, it will be named Bitcoin 1. However, you can rename it as you prefer, for example, Bitcoin Nano X. And now, let's click add account. And there you have it. The account has been successfully added. Let's click done. And if we scroll down now, we will see that a second account for Bitcoin that we named Bitcoin Nano X has been added. And now it's time to move on to the second step of our tutorial, safely getting the wallet address that we just created. So go ahead and click on Bitcoin in the accounts tab. Then click the receive button and select Bitcoin Nano X from the drop down menu. Click continue. After that, the ledger will ask you to check your address on the device. Take a look at your ledger. The wallet address on the computer screen and wallet screen should match. Ok, it looks the same to me. Now, what we need to do is click the copy address button and save it somewhere where you can easily find and use it in the future, like in notes. Let's create a note and name it Bitcoin Nano X wallet address. Friendly reminder, I know, it may seem a bit unclear why we are leaving the address in an unprotected note and the laptop. After all, all the experts say, never store anything related to crypto online. But in this case, it's alright, because it's just public address and as you can see, I'm not blurring it out in the video, knowing the public address doesn't give anyone access to your funds. The worst someone can do is send you some Bitcoin, so don't worry about this. However, when it comes to your 24 word secret phrase, never save it on a laptop, in the cloud or never take a photo of it. Carefully writing down by hand and only enter it directly into the ledger. If your secret phrase gets exposed somewhere, you can lose your money right away. I hope that's clear, so let's move on to the next step. Final step, sending the crypto. Alright, now we have the address to which we need to send our bitcoins. So let's go ahead and send the actual crypto to it. I'll be using Coinbase as an example, but these steps will work the same way for any other asset or exchange. As you can see, I have a bit of bitcoin in my Coinbase balance. Let's click on it and then click on the send and receive button, it's that simple. Let's make sure we are sending the correct asset. 
Bitcoin is selected in the list of assets? Yes, that's right. Now, in the field, we should put the address we got in the previous step. So, I'll open my notes where we save this address and copy. Now, close attention please. To ensure everything works correctly, it's crucial to make the first transaction for a small amount of money to verify that you have indeed entered the correct address and that the funds will go to your wallet. So, let's make a test transaction for $1. Confirm it. And if you have 2FI enabled, you'll need to verify transaction with the code. And done. While we wait for a confirmation on the blockchain, let's discuss a very important concept regarding addresses. In reality, every time you receive cryptocurrency, your Bitcoin wallet address will change. This is because Bitcoin transactions are public information and reusing addresses is discouraged for better privacy. Therefore, Ledger Live will automatically generate new addresses, but will still keep track of your previous ones. This means previous addresses remain valid but it's better to use newly generated addresses. I say this so you don't worry if you suddenly see a new address on the Ledger Live app. This rule applies to Bitcoin and Bitcoin-based crypto assets. For other cryptos like Ethereum, Polkadot, Solana and etc., the addresses always remains the same. So you can comfortably create a text document with addresses for those assets without need to constantly verify everything on the device. And let me check. Yeah, great. Our crypto has successfully landed in the wallet, this means that the all previous steps were done correctly. And now let's check if the address has already changed, but this time we will do that on the phone. Open the Ledger Live app and connect the device using Bluetooth in the My Ledger tab. Also, make sure that the Bitcoin app is installed. Excellent. Go to the Wallets tab, select Bitcoin, scroll down and click Add New Account. We click Confirm the action on the device. After a brief search, there's our account with $1. Let's add it. Now, let's check the address. Once again, go to the Wallets tab, select Bitcoin, click Receive, and to be 100% sure it's the correct address, let's choose the Verify My Address option. As you can see, Ledger Live provides us with a completely new address for receiving, but it is still the same wallet to which we sent $1 earlier. Now, to receive crypto from Coinbase using your phone, copy this address, then open the Coinbase app, go to the My Assets tab and click Send. Choose Bitcoin and paste the address we copied earlier. Enter the desired amount, I'll click Max to send all, and make sure the addresses in the Ledger Live and the Coinbase matches, which is very important. If it does, simply click Send now to confirm the transaction. And that's it. That's all you need to know to send crypto to your ledger. In about 10 to 20 minutes, your Bitcoin will arrive on your hardware wallet. And yeah, let me know in the comments below if you'd like more tutorials like this and which ones. Also, if you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate any feedback in form of likes, subscriptions or comments. Thank you for watching and don't forget to grab your free crypto using the links in the description below. See you in the next one.